everyone and welcome back to the wondrous tale of Bohemia and Upper Bohemia and of the dynasty of Przemyslitz. Yep. We're back. Well, I... <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. You, you, you said it a bit wrong. You said Bohemia and Upper Bohemia. It's more like better Bohemia. Oh, I see. Well, yeah. Bohemia and Upper Bohemia, who is better <laughs> Bohemia, because it's, it's more of a Bohemia when it's not Bohemia, I guess. <laughs> Anyway, we are back with some more interesting stories of our way to forming an empire. Yeah. Um, someone just called me to war against France. Germany called me against France. It would cost me 100 prestige to decline. Uh, I guess I'm gonna accept and ignore it. Because this is not... Not something I would like to be involved in. Anyway, though, uh, we talked a bit uh, with Skulos about the future. Because the game is getting a bit uh, too subtle. We're getting a bit yeah. too fine in it. And to make it a bit more interesting, we're hoping that forming an empire could allow us to fight the Abbasids in a short while. We could basically try to, I guess, subjugate Pannonia? And then use it as a staging base against yeah. Abbasid threat. Yeah, sounds good. I'd like to own Constantinople <laughs> before we quit. Uh, I just got monks from the nearby monastery. I have been stopping to trade for supplies quite often lately. They usually linger to talk and exchange knowledge. I should seek their company more often. I gain 20 piety and 30% chance of one learning. So did I gain it? I don't know. We can call in allies. Would you like to join me in my arduous quest against France? In France? <laughs> yes. Oh god. Not, not especially. I'll be honest. My Come son out. is of age. King Prince Borash of Bohemia. Isn't that the same name? Yeah, he's exactly the same name as I am. He's a tough soldier and he sucks around the clock. No. Please, no. Well, anyway, it's time for me to check how my cities are doing. And uh, yeah. Yeah. Wow, my mayors are not especially useless as always. <laughs> They're actually starting to do something. I know. Building a town market. City is quite upgraded. Well, it's pretty decent. But yeah. So my uh, my brother just won a war. Against who? Against the king of Asturias in Spain, and now he's the king of Asturias. Somehow. Mm -hmm. Not quite sure how that happened. And he's married to the Duchess of Alania, which is modern day Georgia ish. It's actually so kind of interesting. It'll be strange when <laughs> it passes to the child, because they're just going to gain part of modern Georgia and Russia. Hmm. Or whatever's there, I can't remember. I think it's Georgia and Russia. <laughs> well, it's not way weirder than the fact that I'm married to the princess of, or duchess of Pannonia, and I'm going to get four provinces down there uh, with the ports oh. and everything. Oh yeah, I remember, because she won a war, didn't she? Hey. There are some people sieging me in Zvolan and Gemer. Who am I at war with? Idar's conquest of Nitria. What? I completely missed that. Okay, let's uh, raise my personal armies and just go deal with them. That can give me a pretty decent amount of prestige, I think, if I win that. 200 yeah. or something? Something like that, yeah. I'm gonna check it. Offer peace, enforcements, 200 prestige, yeah. Oh, an unmarried heir. Hmm. What about Anonia? You have a daughter, it seems. Very oh, I have a son, then. No. Political concerns. Okay, what about Serbia? Your king Rabish? Yeah. 
<laughs> the able. Oh, you're actually pretty good. Yeah. Oh man, these auto saves are taking a while. That worries me. Is Serbia split in half? Yeah, it is. They also have a place up in uh, Russia. So. Which one? Oh yeah, up there. Yeah. Huh. This was actually not so uncommon in the old age. Which kind of surprised me when I when I learned about it, but yeah, it turns out it wasn't. Man, Serbia doesn't have any suitable people that I could get into with. Damn, kind of sucks. What's I doing? <clears throat> Quite sure what I was doing. Oh yay, Cathar. Again? Yeah. I just won't give up. Guess I'll make Wolfgast better. God, it's been a while, I don't actually know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the problem every uh. single time I'm playing this game. And you know, you'll get into it, eventually. My leech, it is most unfortunate that you happen, he's just too greedy. Okay, we're already fighting in Gemer, it's good. And there's gonna be another battle in Litomnetica. Man, I got so many people. Wait, wait, wait. Am I okay? I'm Catholic, but a lot of my subjects are not. Oh, and I became brave. Try and get them to uh, convert. Yeah, yeah. I'm engaging them in a few logical debates. It's kind of fun, I guess. Uh, I actually won against the guy from Nitria already. Wow. <laughs> With a few battles. War score 100%. Yeah, I got two victories and that was enough. So, enforce demands. Yes. And 200 prestige. Here we go. Oh, and I even got him into jail. So, you guys <coughs> stand down. Wait, there's actually... Who's that? Army of Alte. Livima. I guess they're from France. Yeah, they're already losing against France. Oh, it's gonna be painful. Yeah. French Holy War for Holland. That's quite a few places. Hmm. Prestige up to 6,866. I think we can do it. I just hope I won't get murdered somehow. I got brave now, so that's kind of good. Marshal 26. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Christ, I'm getting a lot of money now. I'm thinking if I should upgrade heavy infantry to level 5 or military organization. Oh, military organization, level 4. Yeah, that lowers the attrition. Might need your help soon. Against who? Uh, Sweden's planning to invade. Okay, no problem. Uh, they've got until next month to declare it, so otherwise they lose a lot of... I think they lose a lot of prestige, but they're not that big, so I might be alright. Oh god, they got 11,000 troops. Hmm. Oh dear. They did it, okay. So you need help? Yep. Will you take control of the armies if I give them to you? Or uh, do you want me to participate? Hold on, I'll raise my armies and my vassal armies. Do I have any other allies? Uh, do you want me to be in a big stack or just randomly just a uh, few stacks? Any plan yeah, or anything? Just Okay. So big all stack. my armies will go to Lower Silesia. If you want, I can attach them to your army, including my retinue and everything. We might have to do that. 
Uh, this is going to be a big one. I can give you about... Out of 7,500, I got around 4,500 plus 1,500 from vassal levies. So at this point, I can give you about uh, 6,000 troops. He's got 12,000. How much do you have? 5,000. Oh, no, I don't. I have more than that. I have more than that. Yeah, I, I just got from some war. I don't remember, but I, I'm... I get, as I say, I got like from seven and a half thousand, I got only four and a half. Yeah, Cathar Revolt, perfect time for this to happen. Oh, but I got the retinue as well, so that's gonna be more, around eight thousand from me. Mm, this is bad. You know, Sweden hate me in this game. Uh oh. Come down, bro, so I can. Join you. Oh, yeah, I'm just going to attack this army. I'm thinking, should we risk me joining in the war actually to get some uh, more prestige, or should we not put my character in there? Don't, no, don't put your character. Oh, holy shit! Your righteous struggle against the Heathens has not gone unnoticed. Ave Maria gained 200 gold. Thanks, Pope, you're the we bro. Have, we have 8,000. Is the Teutonic Order in this on our side? Yeah, they are. Well, they've got 8,000 troops. Oh, there's the Swedish army. It's 10,000. Okay, I'm coming to you. And as I mentioned, I'm going to attach my army to you. I'm leading the army myself with my two right. best men. I'm in the center, so... Okay. The Duchy of Saxony is now de jure part of Kingdom of Saxony? What? <laughs> well, no kidding. Nice. I can see his army up there. Okay, I'll attach my troops to you. Okay, look. Done. Oh, the Teutonic Order's coming as well. So how much do you have? You got... Wow, I got 7,000 out of 10,000. We've got 15,000 between us. Yeah, and my army is uh, growing by 18 per month, so... The problem though is that... Oh wait, I can pay it. I even get 4.5 gold every turn. So we should be fine. Pop died. Oh, my pop died. Hmm. How are you gonna do it? Attack him or I think wait for him to attack? Maybe if you leave your army in Finn and I'll go to Shaland, he'll then be. He'll want to attack because my army will be smaller, but then if you reinforce as soon as the battle starts, we should be able to win that. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to Finn. Yeah, I'm taking us up there anyway, just as a big group. Where are the Teutons going? They're leaving, okay. Thanks, Teutons. Now the war against France is lost. Bremen and Hamburg. Oh, my, my Merchant Republic's bringing uh, armies up as well. They've got an army of 3,000. Okay, so I'm staying in a Finn. Yeah, he's he's not moving between uh, Shale and Skane anymore. Don't, don't attack, don't attack. No, I was trying to get to... Oh, the Shale and this part of... Um... I thought the Wolver Island was a separate province. Alright, no. We'll just have to let that fall and then see what he does. I think Actually, I'm getting attrition. Just... No, we, we haven't got attrition here. Yeah. We can hold 27,000 men. Just move your army to Schleswig. And oh, then hopefully... Does it take? 8 of June? Oh, it's... it doesn't it's take long. long. Right, he's moving. So as soon as he moves to Skane, I'm going to go across to Shaland. Okay, I'm moving to Finn. Oh, he's coming back. Yeah, he's coming back. Never mind. 19 of June. Couldn't you have made it? No, but I'd be uh, I'd be at battle with another army that's there, so that battle would still be going on, and then he'd reinforce. Oh, okay. Hmm. What's that army sieging you in, Holstein? Uh, that's not me. That's someone in the Republic. Oh, he's coming to me. He's coming to me. Okay. On the eighth, on the eighteenth of July, move towards me. Okay. 